I think a bow tie kind of guy is someone who is very passionate about everything that they do, including the way that they dress. I don't think it's necessarily someone who's exclusively passionate about bow ties. I get a sense that it's a love of the beautiful design and classical fashion of the past. I think it's an appreciation for things that are handmade. I think it's an appreciation for something that is sophisticated, something that's elegant, which is often missing in men's fashion, um, especially in the the mainstream. Um, it's not about an exclusive love of bow ties. It's not about wearing bow ties every single day. That's almost a little bit eccentric. Um, and I think there's a fine line between fashion and novelty at times. And especially when you're going for a unique look. Because you're doing something that is unique and stand and it stands out on its own it's also more memorable so if you go for that exact same look again um it might not come off in the in the way that it's supposed to so with the bow ties that I wear I often look for colors that are versatile so I'm not really looking for a bow tie that stands out specifically I'm looking for bow ties that will create a look that stands out but not in a way that is it looks like I'm trying too hard so it, it the look needs to stand out because it's well put together not because it's loud or because it's um, in your face and I think the bow tie kind of guy understands that um, it's not about the bow tie specifically it's more about the look as a whole I look for something that brings the whole outfit together um, where the, everything has a part to play uh, and I think the bow tie really really is a great accessory to for something like that and there's something really special about tying it yourself um, as human beings we historically have always worked with our hands um, for the majority of history and there's a, there's a level of satisfaction that you get by creating something even if you're just tying it you're putting your stamp on it you're personalizing it and you're tying it to your satisfaction uh, and so with the self tie ones in particular no bow tie is exactly the same because it still has to be tied and with the tying element it just adds that level of elegance and sophistication to it but I quite like using the bow ties in more casual looks so with uh, shearling jackets with bomber jackets although I think I'm starting to maybe change my opinion about the bomber jackets a little bit so I'm going to be testing a few uh, looks with bomber jackets but I think the bow ties look a lot better when there's like a collar to the jacket and the shearling jackets just go so well with it saying that actually I think Bomber jackets with a hood work really nice as well. It just adds something when there's something to the top level of the jacket, whether it's a collar or a hood or something like that. Um, I'm not sure why. I haven't quite worked out, but it's just a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, I think it ties into the idea that you don't want the bow tie to dominate the look and so when you don't have that collar it probably 
draws too much attention to the bow tie which might make the look a little bit too memorable or a little bit too stand out ish unless that's what you want to go for um, but me personally I really like having a shearling collar or something like that um, I think it just looks visually so much more pleasing 